If I showed you a line L and a point P that was not on that line, what's going to be the shortest distance from P to L? Well, let's say you didn't have any common sense and let's draw in a couple different lines. Let's say I said, Ms. McCall, shortest distance from P to L is along that line right there. Well, just to give an idea, let's try measuring this. And that distance is 9 inches. You say, wait, 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 Ms. McCall, you got it all messed up. Shortest distance is at an angle like this. So if we measure that line segment, it's going to be about 12 and a half inches. And then hopefully you'll say, wait a minute, Mr. McCall, the shortest distance is just straight down, otherwise known as a perpendicular line. So if we constructed a perpendicular line, and again, I'm not constructing here because I didn't use a compass, then that's going to be our shortest distance. And just for giggles, let's figure out what that distance is. That distance is seven and a half inches. So the shortest distance from P, that's not on a line, to a line, is going to be a perpendicular. But how are we going to construct that? Well, if we think about, if I erase this, if we think about ways that we know how to construct a perpendicular, what we're going to have to do is first create two points on this line. Once we have those endpoints, if we construct a perpendicular through them and through point P, we're going to have a perpendicular bisector. So again, the idea is to find a couple endpoints on this line that are the same distance from P, and then to create the bisector that divides this line segment in half and is perpendicular to L.